Her back legs from her hip bones down were contorted. Her hips seemed to be somewhat out of socket. and She wasn't able to stand firmly on her back feet. They kind of bowed out like little bat wings. I don't know how she survived out there. I don't have any idea because she could barely get herself around. So I don't know how she managed to stay out of traffic and find food and it's crazy. That's probably why she had become so thin. She didn't seem to be in any pain anymore. It probably happened a few months before she was found. Simazana came to us two, two and a half months ago, and she's been living with us ever since. First, we wanted to be able to give her the opportunity to have cage rust to see if maybe that would improve the mobility that she has. And then one day the clinic staff came in and said, you need to come and see this. We went into the clinic, put her on the ground, and she started walking around. And since then, it's been all better. The way she looks, her physical appearance, and the way that she has limited mobility, she's just a normal cat beyond those things. And I think that she feels that she's a normal cat as well, and that she doesn't have any limitation. Sima Hassana is definitely a survivor. Not only did she survive being out on the street, she also survived some sort of traumatic injury and then making a miraculous recovery once we had her. I always have a soft spot for the special needs cats and when you see a cat like Sima Hassana who was not letting it stop her and still seemed to be so friendly and want so much to give that love despite everything that was going on, you couldn't help but just fall in love with her. Hi, I'm the host of Ask a Vet. You're watching The Pet Collective Cares. Don't forget to subscribe.